If you want to support Slopes Game Room, then please click the links that you see in the top comments. Welcome to Quick Shot, the video game fact show for you to watch whilst you wait for the Genie's new rap album to drop. <laughs> Stop hating on Will Smith, guys. Those were not just hard boots to fill, those were impossible boots to fill. Regardless, after I saw this trailer, it made me want to go back to play what is probably Disney's very best video game ever. Aladdin for the super amazing Mega Drive. Ah oh boy, what a game. The third best selling game on the Mega Drive, don't you know, with over 4 million physical copies being sold. And that got me thinking, what is the best selling Disney related video game or gaming franchise of all time? If you're like me, your mind races from Aladdin to Castle of Illusion, perhaps Epic Mickey, and then obviously it lands within Kingdom Hearts, right? Well, as good as those games are, they are all far, far, far from the top spot. There was a great article on the website Money Inc. that is literally called How Much Is The Kingdom Hearts Video Game Franchise Worth? that goes into detail on how many units the Kingdom Hearts series has sold. And surprisingly, although it's obviously not doing bad, it has only sold... 24 million units. Now, obviously, 24 million isn't actually bad, and this tally came in before Kingdom Hearts 3. But still, comparing it to Tomb Raider, which was still from the top spot for the company and only had two games by this point, or four if you class the re releases, and that sold over double that with 60 million units. In other words, no, the correct answer is not Kingdom Hearts. So what is? Well, the game we will be talking about today hasn't actually been released yet on home consoles at least, but instead as of right now it's only available in Japan arcades and your mobile phone. <laughs> yes, the clever among you knew I was going to say a mobile game, didn't you? And here it is. I get some kind of award or something for being the oldest bloke on YouTube that hasn't got a kiddie unboxing toy channel to talk about these bloody things? <laughs> so yeah, although the fad has started to die down a bit more in recent years, these tiny little expressionless soft toys have actually earned some serious money for Disney. The craze started back in 2013 in Japan when Konami created an arcade game and the company Line made a mobile game which you will be hearing a lot more about in the near future due to them being the guys behind the upcoming Dr. Mario mobile game. So the idea is super simple and works the same with both the arcade and the mobile game. The Sum Sums, which translates to stack stack obviously, fill the screen and you need to drag along the same types of Sum Sum to as many corresponding Sum Sums as possible during a time limit. Now obviously on the mobile app you only have a set amount of tries which only replenish after you sit and wait for them or cough up some money. And then you've got the arcade machine which actually takes your money but obviously depending on how well you do you get a Sum Sum as a reward. If you pay the higher amount that is. And yes, it's as simple as that. As of November last year, the mobile game topped over 80 million downloads and it's likely to hit 90 million very soon. There's a couple of more stats on the screen if you want to see some other stupidly big numbers. And to be even more specific, that Sunday around about 10 o'clock at night is the most popular time of the game, proving that it is indeed not kids playing this game. And if you want to put an actual figure onto the whole thing, yep, Sum Sums have earned Disney over two billion dollars which is just over a quarter of how much they spent on buying pixar <laughs> just to put it out there and guys this is without the sales of the arcade machines because they're not published from what i can tell but it is popular enough to be into its 16th set of sum sums to collect and also make its way over to american shores and regarding the game itself although it looks completely throwaway after my son recently got into collecting them during our recent visit to disneyland paris i decided to download the game myself for him to play whilst queuing up for the ride and yes I too have got quite addicted to it. 
It looks simple, and it is, but unlocking new characters and leveling them up and working out what their special moves are becomes quite addictive, which is why I generally got quite excited during the latest Nintendo Direct when a proper standalone sort of Sum Sum meets Mario Party like game was announced. Not for me, obviously, oh no, 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 for my son, of course. <laughs> So yeah, there you have it. One of the biggest companies in the world's most popular video game is this. And all of those thinking to themselves, you know what, I might try this game out myself. I truly am sorry for your latest addiction.